Hey you going guys, my name's Yeti and welcome to my very first unboxing. So yesterday I picked up the Razer Ouroboros Elite Ambidextrous Gaming Mouse. Yeah, that is a mouthful, that one. And this thing looks freaking sweet. I love it. I haven't actually given it a go yet, it's still in the packaging. So um, yeah, let's start unboxing this thing and uh, yeah, see how we go. Beautiful. So here we are guys. How cool does this thing look? I got this thing because I've got quite big hands and I wanted something that I can customize a little bit bigger to make it a bit more comfortable for my hands. So you've got the uh, these side buttons here, well they're not buttons, they're uh, like finger um, rests. So and they can they detach. There should be two more inside the packaging. Um, this back piece here slides backwards and forwards, so you can make it really uh, comfortable to, for the way you want it. And also, there is a wheel. If you just see that little metal piece there? That's a wheel. That if you adjust that, this here also raises up and down. So that's pretty sweet. Um, let's see. So you've got your normal, your two side buttons on either side. I believe that there is your battery meter. Um, you've got your two normal sensitivity buttons for your to change your DPI up and down. The buttons feel pretty sweet. Um, what else we got here? Uh, the wheel. What I love about this wheel so far, from what it, how it feels, it's not free spin, which I love. It uh, it's actually clicky, so nothing worse than being in a game and yeah, you spin straight past your weapon or anything that you're selecting between. So I love it having a nice little click there. Um, I'm actually upgrading from my Razer Taipan, which has done me well so far, but uh, I, I felt like it was time for an upgrade. All right, um, let's uh, unbox this thing a bit more and see what else we got here. So I'll put that aside there. So it looks like we got our standard Razer booklets and reading material. There you go. For gamers by gamers, Razer.com. So, yep, what do we got here? We got our USB, our spare thumb buttons, as well as a battery. Looks like you got a nice braided, sturdy, tough cable, so that's good. You can always need that. Um, yeah, alright, so we'll put that aside have a quick look at some of the reading material. Welcome to the cult of Razer. So what do we got here? So our instructions on the mouse. Exclusive rewards for the face faithful oh, exclusive rewards for the Razer faithful. So little message there if you guys if you want to read that you can pause it and have a look and more instructions sweet all right so that is the reading material let's have a look at this actual mouse itself move that side over there beautiful now that thing is not too heavy, it uh, feels pretty comfortable. That already fits pretty well in my hands. As you can see, I've got quite large hands. So yeah, that looks really sweet. Let's see how we go with this thing, with pulling parts off of it. There you go, so they're magnetized. You've got three magnets on the back of the finger buttons. Let's do this one as well. Sweet, that really that comes off nice and easy, but it feels like I think it would click on pretty easy too. There you go, see, so automatically pulls itself in there. Awesome. Now, <clears throat> so I believe those part, those golden parts underneath there, they will click into the base, which I should add. There goes a very loud race car going past my window. Um, 
Yeah, so underneath there we've got, which I'm going to have to work out how to get it out of there actually. Um, there is the dock for the controller. And when I say controller, I mean mouse. So yeah, this is obviously a, a wireless mouse. Um, but with the, obviously with the cable, USB cable that we plug in there, that'll plug into looks like the front there. Alright, I'm going to try and pull this out first and um, we'll see how it looks. And there you go guys, so that there is the base. It's actually got some weight to it, so we have the, uh, the power button in the front, the USB will click into there. So you can have it running it as wireless, but I believe you can also have the mouse running directly to the other uh, cable running directly to the mouse. So you can run it as a wired mouse as well. Now let's see how it's easy it just sits on there. There we go. Nice and easy, just magnetize itself on. As you can see, I've also put on the other side panels as well, just to see how it looks. So that looks pretty sweet. Alright, let's put that aside for a moment, move all this out of the way. A bit of a process there. Where'd that go? Beautiful. Anyway, let's put that there. Let's have a little bit of a play, see if we can customize this thing a little bit. So yeah, there's that wheel that I was talking about earlier. So I believe if you rotate that see that closing the gap so it's actually lowering the back end of the mouse there you go comes to a stop so it feels all right but I think I prefer it with a higher back that feels pretty good in saying that Let's go back to those other side buttons. I think they will be a lot more comfortable. They look a lot more comfortable. Trying to do this one-handed is not easy. I love that they come off easy. Beautiful. I love how that just clicks on. Look at that. Perfect. That feels so comfortable. I love it. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, set up the the dock, get it all plugged up, and yeah, I'll show you how it all looks, guys. There we go, guys. So that is all plugged in. So obviously, there's our power button, the connectors for the mouse. Now, what I loved about this actually was, I know it's such a small and simple little thing. But in the uh, in the plug itself, it has a groove. I'm just trying to catch that with the light. You can see that groove there. Now there's a groove in. Just trying to get it not to focus on my fingers. Can you kind of see that groove in there, guys? No, it's not very great. There we go. That's a bit better. So there's the groove. It just literally slicks, slides right in there and clicks into place. So that's actually pretty cool. Just holds it in there. And beautiful, voila! Love that. That's very sweet. It's the Razer Ouroboros. I can't wait to give this thing a go. Now I probably should plug the battery in and um, yeah, give this thing actually a proper test run and see how it looks. All right, guys. So I've put the uh, the battery into the back there. Now this is the uh, the rear panel that slides backwards and forwards, so you can actually fully adjust it to the length. So I'm just trying to click that back in. Sorry that my hand's in the way there, guys. So that's that's as long as you can actually have it, which is incredibly insane. It's a massive mouse, and that actually surprisingly feels pretty comfortable for the size of that thing. And it looks a bit ridiculous, really, to have that such a massive open gap in there. But yeah, that's your the way it goes. I think that should just so click in though. No, I need to push the buttons in the back there. So there's this panel here. There you go. So you can just open and close it just like so. And 
there you go so if I push this it should turn it on I think okay the battery is flat so it needs to get some charge there you go it looks pretty freaking sweet so there you go guys that is the Razer Ouroboros Elite Ambidextrous Gaming Mouse I am going to give this thing a go and see what it's like. I'll play a little bit of PUBG and of course some Fortnite. And um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching and if, uh, if you liked the video, be sure to give me the, uh, the big thumbs up. And to keep up to date with all my future videos, please subscribe. And if you really want to keep up to date, hit that bell button. Alright, thanks guys.